30. Just three legislative session days left in Albany after today, and lawmakers are scrambling to get bills passed this week. Many say the corruption and scandals that plagued them this year also distracted them from doing the work of the people. And the numbers, they seem to prove it. Our Capitol correspondent, Pat Bailey, joins us now live from Albany with the latest on the final push. And Pat, just how bad are the numbers? Well, Greg, to be honest, they are low. In fact, several hundred more bills passed both houses this time in the past few years than have already passed so far this year. And if the legislature is going to avoid matching the all-time low number of bills passed, they must get to work and agree on almost 400 over the next few days. Lawmakers I talked with today say this is a direct result of a session being overshadowed by corruption and scandal. Over the past six months, lawmakers have been dealing with questions about corruption, and it's gotten in the way of work. According to the New York Public Interest Research Group, only 194 bills have passed both the Senate and Assembly this year. That's 31 fewer than this time last year, and almost 200 fewer than this time in 2011. Why? They say their focus got distracted. I think it did. I think it's gotten us off track. It's been the focus of this um, session, if you will. It's been the focal point of what's going on here. I absolutely do. I think that people are more anxious to, to go home. But before they leave, lawmakers still have three full session days left. And if they want to avoid the stigma of the least productive session in the history of the state, they need to get to work. Over the past three years, the number of bills passed in Albany has steadily declined. Last year, the fewest bills since 1914 were passed. If this body wants to surpass them, they will need to approve 377 bills in the next 72 hours. I think it's not too much different than each year at this time when everybody gets very frantic and trying to decide what will come before us and what won't. And, and uh, there are betting people who say this will and that won't. So I think a lot of it is still up in the air. And we'll get it done. There's a good spirit of cooperation between everybody. And I think they're all anxious to get out of here. But that may not happen on time. What I'm hearing is that we'll be here all week. And who knows, depending on what happens with any last minute surprises, you never know. Our census will be done this week. Now, as you remember, those scandals all started last fall when it was made public. A secret $103,000 settlement payment was made to two of former Assemblyman Vito Lopez's staffers, and it was approved by Speaker Sheldon Silver. Then, in the spring, there was one arrest after another of Assembly members and senators, five total this session, Greg. All right, so the question is, what bills are still on the table and which ones are really on life support right now? Well, of the quote-unquote important ones, the ones the governor wants to see done, here's what's up in the air. Women's equality and a corruption bill. Both were introduced late by the governor, but both admittedly today dead by the governor. He mentioned it on the radio. There's also still the issue of casinos, tax-free zones, and the restructuring of local government boards. The governor said today on the radio as well he wants to see all of them done this session. If so, that means they will all have to happen now in the next 72 hours. I should mention a leaders' meeting was just held between the governor and the legislative leaders behind closed doors, and it broke up about an hour ago. Not much was said when they came out other than the fact that IDC leader Jeff Klein was quoted as saying they all want to be done by Thursday. I'm sure they do. Hey, didn't I hear that the $90 million for uh, disability programs was restored today? Uh, it was restored by the Assembly. The Senate, I believe, still has yet to act on that, but I believe there is a, an agreement there that the Sen uh, Senate will also uh, act on that and restore that $90 million to the Office of Persons with Developmental Disabilities. All right. Thank you very much. Pat Bailey reporting live from Albany tonight. Thanks.